All right, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Andy Cade. My name is Andy, as always, and we're resuming our playthrough of Life is Strange. If you guys missed the last episode, we realized that Max can now turn back time and do other cool things, too. So we're now in her room, and we have to go to this girl Dana's room to get the flash drive for our friend Warren. So with that said, let's get it. Jesus. High school's brutal, man. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. How Juliet is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. And what'd she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Oh, Ouch. my How God. Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. Yeah. What's my last name? Uh, be, be, mm. She looks like a Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name. Ha ha! <laughs> that was a total Absolutely. lucky guess. Just because I swear. don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. Hey, so that's me. That According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According anything. to Victoria. Hmm. She saw the sex, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Damn. I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Victoria. Oh! Victoria, we gotta go to Victoria's room. Okay, cool. Uh. Um... Who's this? Whose room is this? Oh, oh, shit. Alright, um, I don't know which room. Okay, it's Max's room, got it. Oh, Victoria's room, cool. Let's go inside. Uh, of course, she's got the nice view. With all the nice things. And the nice cameras. Fucking... She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. God damn. And I actually stood up for her. Anyway, let's use the ta the tablet, huh? Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Fuck out of here. Jesus. Alright, uh. What am I looking at? Hmm. Sick persons. There's gotta be something in here. Alright, use it. Yeah. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo, and for this nice shot. <laughs> Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Okay. All right. Well, let's go back. Uh, print. Printer. We got a printer. Fuck's your printer at? All right. Print. Print email. Got it. Oh, I thought that was a... Oh, okay, cool. Take it. Yeah. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. All right, I better get the hell out of here. Before fucking she shows up. <laughs> I love that slate. Look at it. Hey. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. This fucking bitch right here. Email. Juliet, read this. Of course. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. God damn. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Jesus. Her eyes are even redder than Max's. I can kind of understand if she was, like, crying or something like that. Which maybe... Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. All right, so, flash drive. That's a nice room. 
Sorry. Okay, cool. Take the flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> Alright. I gotta get gone. Thanks again. Alright, how do I Oh hey, I got a thing. Uh blah, 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 blah. shit. Where are we at? Why does it make that noise? That's so annoying. Lame, it's in the lot. Okay, so he's in the parking lot, right? Oh, so I don't mind waiting. I can count all the cars. Okay, then. Alright. Anywho, let's get out of here, huh? Leave this storm. Leave this storm now! Max Smash! Alright, lots, lots. Uh, let's see here. Fuck this shit! Oh! Damn! Damn, I better rewind. Okay, and uh, about here. Yo, no! You fucking. <laughs> Warn. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Yeah, it's like I'm an everyday hero or something. Not oh, fucking. Thanks, but we're not. Ugh. You can't buy good grammar, I guess. Jesus. Alrighty. Lots. That kind of looks it. Maybe. I don't know. Go to the parking. Oh, okay. Here we go. Parking lot. Got it. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Who the fuck is this guy? Me alone. I better. Well, let's intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, yeah. Hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Fucks up with this dude. Jeez. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Alrighty. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer Dave. Oh, shit, sorry. Cut off the conversation. But anyway, uh, friggin' paranoia dude's gonna be after us now, I guess. It's a USB. Now that I'm looking at it, it's a U, it looks like a USB 2.0 drive. Yeesh. It's gonna take forever to transfer everything. Well, good luck with that, Max. Shit. <laughs> I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Yeah, it's rough, bro. Man. I remember my, sorry, this is a little aside, but I remember my first desktop computer was an old ass Dell and uh, it had USB 1.0. So whenever I would transfer stuff for my friend Eric and other people as well, it would take so fucking long. And I remember when USB 2.0 came out and I would transfer stuff between his computer and like my uh, hard drive or something like that. It would just be like, damn, I'm like, dude, what took, it used to take like hours or like a half hour, 45 minutes, only took like maybe two, five, two to five minutes. And now with USB 3.0, it's just insane right now. So anyway, so little, little geek talk, I guess. A little geek trivia. I have to go find Warren and give him back his flash drive. You gotta find Warren. Warren's right there, babe. Warren, where are you? Could be anywhere. Hmm. Is he in here? Hey, have you seen Warren? Oh. Uh, Max, how are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Oh. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. Looks like a sprint. Seventy-eight to be exact. Seventy-eight. Jesus. The There's one in Newburgh, just sixty miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Say the least. I bet. 
I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Yeah? Okay. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Fuck yeah, bro. Um, that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. <laughs> that does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Beef. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Uh, let's see. Seen it. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? <laughs> So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. All right. No, Quotes. I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Oh, I thought it was a Spare quote. Spare was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. Yeah? But you seem distracted. Yeah, let's talk about it. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. Oh, that's his name, I huh? I don't even prescribe you any meds. Unless, unless he wants some. I'm down Warren for some meds. Warren, this is between you and me. Not social media. Don't insult me. God, next. Go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Like Thanks this game? Feel right. Oh, Mr. Yeah, fucking Banana Jefferson Shoes. Photo groupies. I'm one of his students. What hey. the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw. Now. Okay, creepazoid. Answer me, bitch. Nothing, I guess. Nothing but a butterfly. You're full of shit. I'd respect you more if you told me the truth. I don't need your respect. Oh, took the words right out of my mouth. No idea who I am or what I can do. Actually, I have a pretty good idea of who you are. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Jesus. Uh, yourself, Max Coffee. Uh. Take a step back. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Damn. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Damn, hey, that kid's poofy you know. hair. Nobody tells me what to oh, do. Shit. Not oh friends, shit. Oh shit. Not the principal Stop or that whore in the bathroom. Yeah. Run his Oh shit. Hello. Oh. Max. Chloe? No way. You again. Oh, oh, I got this. All right. Uh shit. So I guess I know this person. Oh damn. Who the fuck was that guy? Okay. So we apparently know this girl. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. Her name's Chloe, apparently. After five years are still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. Sure. So what did that freak want with you? Oh, right. Uh... Hmm. Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt, and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Hmm. Nah, Seattle was actually pretty good. And, uh, it's nice to visit anyway, so, yeah. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia. 
Yeah. You. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. <sighs> yeah, Mark Jefferson. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. I guess. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. Is he so really you your came favorite? Katie, for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm confused. I thought... I didn't know she actually liked Mr. Jefferson that well. I thought he was just kind of a hard-ass teacher. I don't know. The more you know, I guess. Uh, I guess I wanted to, so... I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. Damn. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be right. such a shy, cliche geek. And yet I you turned you. into that. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me. Ah, uh, jeez. It's nice to see you too, best friend. Yay. Oh, hey, it's a camera. Broken. Man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Yeah, me neither, shit. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. <laughs> my stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. Uh... It's the, it's the little things about this game that I like, you know. Obviously, the graphics are nice, you know, saggy eyes notwithstanding. But uh, everything else looks really nice. It's got a nice feel. Soundtrack is great. Um, I wish you could do a little more. You know, it's kind of a, uh, a souped-up uh, text adventure, basically. The still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Oh, I didn't press anything at the time, so. Ooh, goodness. Cool, I guess. It's... Dang. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. Oh, yeah. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step here makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Damn. It's gonna be one of them types of games, huh? Alrighty, well, <laughs> I think this is a pretty good place to stop for now. And with that said, this is the Andy Salon signing off for now. <laughs> Thanking you guys for uh, tuning into this episode of Life is Strange. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. When's the last time I had to dig through Chloe's craft? Shut up. <laughs>